Active Record Store module gives you a thin wrapper around Serialize for the purpose of storing hashes in a single column. It's like a simple key value store baked into your record when you don't need to, when you don't care about being able to query. In other words, you don't want to search that store outside of the context of a single record. You can then declare accessors to the store that are accessible just like any other attribute of the model. That's what we're going to look at. Hey guys, Phil here from Zonmaster, a tech entrepreneur, Ruby on Rails. And it's the latter that we're going to be talking about today. It's another Ruby on Rails uh, peek inside of something that I find pretty interesting um, or very handy, I should say, inside of the uh, Rails library. And, you know, I've been developing Rails for a very long time, since about the mid 2000s, about 2005, whenever Rails first came out. I think I remember we did a project with Rails and it was version 0 0.9. So it's uh, come a long way since then. And something that we always wanted was this ability to you know, essentially store a blob, but in a, in a nice way, you know. Uh, and PostgreSQL, however you want to say that, has the JSON column, and, and, and now MySQL may have a JSON column type. But, you know, sometimes you just have these fields on an on a object that you don't really need to search on. You know, my example is always uh, probably a bad example, but uh, when you store order information and you have the tax, you know, okay, you need to have the tax on there because if you're going to show that order, people want to see how much the tax was, but nobody ever searches to see how much tax, you know, how many records had a tax of $1.59. So we're going to use something called the store, which is a part of Active Record. And let's quickly pop over and look at the documentation. And I shall change the thing so you can actually see. So, Active Record Store module gives you a thin wrapper around Serialize for the purpose of storing hashes in a single column. It's like a simple key value store baked into your record when you don't need to, when you don't care about being able to query. In other words, you don't want to search that store outside of the context of a single record. You can then declare accessors to the store that are accessible just like any other attribute of the model. That's what we're going to look at. So let's pop over. I'm going to use um, the same la project that I've been using for a while. For the last few ones is this cable guy, which is essentially like a library books type thing. So what we want to do is generate a migration. And we're going to add additional, additional info to library book and additional info is going to be of type text even and we do that so that we don't run out of space we happen to stuff in uh, a bunch of stuff in there so let's add that on and let's migrate it okay now let's reload our rails console and let's just grab our first library book uh, and how about I'm going to actually spell it right library book dot first and if we look at that we can see okay yes it does have an additional info of nil so let's now get to the coding part how about we go over here? And it's pretty simple what we need to do. We add a store, and we're going to call that, uh, we're setting a store on the column called additional info. And we're going to set some ac accessors of author blurb, for instance, um, jacket blurb. Jacket is a book cover and binding, you know, which would be like uh, whether it's a paperback or a hardback or something like that. So there, we've got that on there. Now, let's go back to console. Let's reload. Let's pull in that library book. And let's not do that. <laughs> and let's reload. Let's pull in that library book. And if we look at library book, Okay, 
still additional info, but now additional info you may notice is a hash or an empty hash. So we can say library book, author blurb, and this book happens to be the Cloud Atlas, which I know was written by David Mitchell. So we can say David Mitchell is a Brit who used to live in Japan. And if we save that, librarybook.save, and if we pretty print, there we go. We now see additional info is a hash, and there's the key. And we don't need to worry about the, the, the interesting thing here for me is that author blurb is on the column additional info. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what column it's stored in. We can say uh, library book dot author in uh, blurb, and it pulls it out. We don't know, have to know where that information is stored. And the cool thing is if we do this, if we add, add uh, internal info, let's, I'm making this up as I go along here, and add internal info, and we're going to call that internal, funnily enough, info, another text, so we're adding another text column. I'm going to migrate that. And we're going to set up another store, uh, internal info, accessors. Maybe we want to call it, I don't know, home branch, uh, number of copies, and so on. We have two columns now on the database, one internal info, one additional info. But that's transparent to us. That's grouped in a logical way, hopefully. You know, you group like things together. But author blurb could have been on internal info. We have no visibility to that. We don't need to have visibility to that, I should say. So if I reload and I pull this uh, book in again, just um, So those keys are on that. We don't really need to know that. And for me, that's a powerful thing. It, 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 it stores the data in a nice, transparent way, but we can still use those things inside of uh, those columns as if they were naked attributes on the model. Uh, it's really handy. And I have another project where we're um, you know, letting people uh, build up uh, listings, you know, like a Fiverr kind, of, Fiverr kind of thing, and each skill, like let's say you want to put stuff on Fiverr where you're an artist, well the type of information you fill in as an artist is different, let's say, than the type of information you fill in as a videographer. So we have columns that are like, uh, that simply store the attributes that we want to display with a whole bunch of different keys. And the keys are different based on what type of listing it is you're creating. So you don't need to, um, you know, you, you can kind of use this as a templating system. I hope I'm explaining myself clearly. It's a, for me, it was a big aha. You know, this is how to, the best way really to store JSON non-searchable information, which you do have to do a lot in the real world. I also use this quite a bit in the uh, COVID-19 website that I have, same kind of thing. So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, it's short and sweet, I hope. And if you have any other Rails questions, you know, if you have anything about in Rails that you want to talk about or look, have me look at in Rails 6 or 6.1, I have a couple of other uh, topics that I'm going to cover in, in upcoming weeks and another uh, secret thing that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, but I really want to focus more on Rails stuff, so um, ask away. Any questions? No problem, I'm here. And of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell, notification, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.